Bean was born on January 26, 1998 in Tonju, Tumbuk Province. He had a pretty cool family. He got a younger sister who's also a K-pop idol. Moon Sua is part of the girl group Billy, and the two of them had gained quite the following as the ultimate K-pop sibling duo. Fans just couldn't get enough of their talent and charm, and it was always fun to see the two supporting each other. Because of his family's deep involvement in the entertainment industry and the arts, Moonbean's celebrity adventure kicked off during his younger years when he was only six years old. Moonbean's mother is no stranger to the entertainment industry herself, and she saw something special in her son when he was just a kid. In 2004, she encouraged him to give modeling a go, and it ended up being a great decision. Moonbean's natural talent and good looks helped him make a name for himself in the industry from a young age. He quickly became a famous child model, who later became an internet sensation due to his impressive Oljong status. However, it wasn't until two years later, when he turned eight, when Moonbean's stardom really began to rise, as he captured everyone's heart in Dobang Shingi's balloon music video, where he played the role of a mini Yunho. In fact, the child actors that starred in balloons ended up becoming friends and even debuting. Moonbean, Icon's Chanu, and SF9's Chani maintained a good friendship throughout the years. His experience with Dobang Shingi was also one of the reasons why Astro covered their song so often. It was then when the world started to take notice of his talent. Mini Dolbang Shingi, as they were called, got a lot of attention for their appearance in balloons. Meanwhile, Moonbean's career continued to thrive, and at nine years old, he made an appearance on SBS Star King with Chanu and Chani, where he once again showcased his skills as a child model. This was another major stepping stone in his journey to becoming a renowned personality in the entertainment industry. Moonbean's skills and visuals didn't go unnoticed by the acting industry either. At 11 years old, he made his acting debut, and it was none other than in the wildly popular K-drama Boys Over Flowers. Moonbeam played the younger version of Kim Bom's character called So Yi Jong. While Kim Bom brought his charisma to the role of a playboy, Moonbeam brilliantly portrayed the unsociable and withdrawn So Yi Jong, who was nursing a broken heart. Having those acting skills as a mere child definitely put him on the radar, but he was more interested in becoming an idol, so these plans were put on hold. Moonbeam's journey to becoming a K-pop star began when he was 12, as he joined Vantasio as a trainee. He had been receiving official training under the company while also pursuing his education since 2009 at the Hanlim Art School in the Practical Music Department, along with fellow member Rocky. He even participated in the iTeen Boy Group project, becoming the second trainee to be introduced with the Fantasio iTeen photo test cut. He trained for seven years before making his debut with Astro. Ahead of his debut, though, Moonbeam gave acting another shot when he and his fellow group members appeared in a web drama called To Be Continued, which gave fans a taste of what they could expect from the group. On February 23, 2016, Moonbeam burst into the K-pop scene at the age of 18 when Astro made their debut with their mini-album Spring Up, which included the title track Hide and Seek. As he was promoting with the group, Moonbeam also had the opportunity to showcase his talents as a TV personality on the ultimate watch list of latest trends, appearing in the first two seasons of the show as a fixed cast member. The very next year, he appeared in the drama Moments of 18, taking on the role of Dong Ote and impressed the viewers once again with his skills on the screen. Moonbeam's portrayal of a character who is accepting his own identity in a K-drama provided much-needed representation for the LGBTQ plus community. This allowed both Korean and non-Korean audiences to witness a character who was comfortable with who he was, promoting self-love and acceptance. Fans also just loved the way that he was able to balance his career as an idol and an actor, and how he had taken on a variety of roles, showcasing his impressive range. As Astro gained more and more fans and continued to release amazing music, Moonbeam had to take a break from promotions due to health issues when he was 21. The company said that Moonbeam Moonbeam visited the hospital as he felt that something was wrong. There, he was told that he needs to rest and receive treatment, so he halted group promotions temporarily. In general, Moonbeam had been pretty transparent about his battles with anxiety and stress. During a new Sen interview in 2019, he disclosed that he had been dealing with anxiety since childhood and was attending therapy sessions and taking medication to regulate his symptoms. He also mentioned that exercising and receiving support from loved ones aided him in dealing with his problems. Additionally, Moonbeam made sure to frequently emphasize the significance of openly discussing mental health and seeking assistance when necessary. He said, I think it's important for people to talk about their mental health and seek help when they need it. It's something that we should all be aware of and try to support each other with. While fans were sad about Moonbeam's bad health and him missing promotions, they wished that he would come back as healthy as ever, as this meant that he couldn't join his bandmates for the promotion of their mini-album Blue Flame. However, after fully recovering, he made a triumphant return on February 14th, 2020 with a live broadcast alongside Sanha. From that point on, he was back to participating in the group's comebacks and other promotional activities, much to the delight of fans. At the young age of 22, he took on a new challenge as a co-host for the music show Show Champion alongside his fellow Astro
Astro member Yoon San Ha and Very Very's Kang Min. He didn't stop there, as he also landed the lead role in the web drama The Mermaid Prince, which was so successful that it got renewed for a second season. Moonbean also showed off his cooking skills in the eco-friendly cooking program Food Avengers. And to top it all off, he became one of the models for the trendy brand Nerd Cafe in September 2020. Moonbean's solo music career was rather limited, with only two songs to his name. One of those songs, Let's Go Ride, was a solo track included in Astro's album Drive to the Starry Road, where each member got a chance to showcase their solo skills. The other was a collaboration with Ji Soo Yeon from Weki Meki, a track called Language. That's why the good news that got fans really buzzing was the launch of Astro's subunit featuring Moonbean and Yoon San Ha, who debuted on May 26, 2020. Their mini album In Out contained the title track Bad Idea and was an instant hit among fans, winning multiple awards, including being the quickest subunit to win their first music show on the show. And to think that he had achieved all of these by the age of 22. His career is really admirable. Moonbean's schedule was packed in 2021 too. He was chosen by fashion brand Nakedness as their first ever muse, and he also joined the cast of the second season of Coupon Play's Saturday Night Live Korea later that year. It seems like Moonbean had more plans for the future under his company's management, as he had decided to renew his contract with Fantasio in December 2022, which was confirmed through an official statement from the agency. The unit of Moonbean and Sanha also embarked on an Asian tour. The tour kicked off with two consecutive shows in Seoul on March 18th and March 19th, before taking the stage in Manila on March 25th and Bangkok on April 8th. The tour was supposed to continue with performances in Macau on April 22nd, Taipei on April 30th, Jakarta on May 13th, and Tokyo on May 20th, culminating with a two-day run in Osaka on May 22nd and 23rd. The tour poster also hinted at the possibility of more dates being added in the future, making fans even more excited about the prospects. Then, the tragedy struck. Unfortunately, Moonbeam's journey came to a tragic end on April 20th, 2023. He was only 25 years old when he was found unconscious at his apartment in Seoul, Gangnam's district, and reports suggest that he may have taken his own life. Moonbeam's manager alerted the police after he failed to show up for a rehearsal practice, which was scheduled the night before his performance at the Dream concert in Busan with Sanha. According to a report from the BBC, the Korean broadcasting company SBS had disclosed that Moonbeam had opened up about his declining mental health over the past few months. During a fan meet, he confessed, I'm actually feeling really bad. There might have been a lot of signs from which people could notice since the concert started, so I'm also very sorry to you guys. In a live broadcast, he mentioned that he was working out and making an effort to regain what he had lost bit by bit. He acknowledged that he had chosen this job and needed to be content in order to make his fans happy too. The news of Moonbeam's sudden passing has left the K-pop community in shock, and his fans, friends, and acquaintances are taking the time to process the devastating news and express their grief in their own ways. Many have shared heartfelt messages about the impact that Moonbeam had on their lives. Moonbeam will always be remembered as an artist with incredible talents, a big, lovable heart, and a smile that impacted the lives of everyone around him. Our wish is that those hurt by this tragedy have big support around them. We hope you keep smiling up there, Moonbeam. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye, guys!